Mr. Marty Tops. Woo! <laughs> Hi guys, how you doing? Yeah! Well, that's so great, you guys. Um, I want to thank the Philly Improv Theater for letting me buy this time uh, to speak to you guys about something very important to me. Um, I know we got a lot of shows to get through tonight, so I'm not going to waste any of your time. We're just going to start off, okay? Sing along if you know the words. <laughs> What you 
great to be here. Um, I've only got 35 songs left, uh, but before I start the next one, uh, as I've been touring around, people will ask me a lot of questions after the show, like, do you really love Tap Out? Does it really make me look good? And that kind of thing. Um, but uh, one of the things that most people ask is, do you sing anything other than Tap Out? Do you do different stuff? And uh, not, not really, but I can do different stuff. I can, I can try. Oops. I can do different voices. So, um, you guys don't mind, how about we try something else? Is that cool? Thank you guys 
Sorry, I just need to get out of your sight for a second. I'm feeling really weird. Um, <laughs> listen, everyone knows I love Tap Out. I can sing about Tap Out for the rest of my life, and that is my promise to the Tap Out Corporation and everyone here, but <laughs> I've been going through a lot of stress at home lately, and um, <laughs> so I recently was kind of hanging out with my wife. Um, <laughs> we were buying groceries, and we were out of the store. Thank you. And, um, and I turn around, um, and I see an olive green uh, Jeep TJ uh, when, with the bikini top on. It was summertime. It looked really cool. And outside of it, a man kind of ran up, knocked me right on my bottom. He scooped my wife up and uh, took her away. He kidnapped her. Um, <laughs> but as they were driving away, and I was looking at that Jeep with my wife in the passenger seat, I, I couldn't help but picture myself in the driver's seat. And, um, and I think I looked really good. Um, so, I, so I come up with a plan. Uh, the kidnapper called me the next day with the kidnapper call. He said, uh, hey Marty, uh, give me $2,000 or you'll never see your wife alive again. I said, well, first I didn't say anything because I think my wife is worth a little more than $2,000 for one. And also, how did he know exactly how much I had in my bank account at the time? Um, but I said, sure, you can have your $2,000, whatever, or I'll give you $3,000 and you throw in that Jeep. <laughs> and he said, sure. So I have until midnight tonight to raise the money. So if you have phones, I don't mind if you bring them out during my set. Um, just Google me and Kickstarter. I got a Kickstarter going to raise the extra thousand and we'll get her back. Um, but I wrote a little song about it in case you guys go home and forget and don't want to see my wife anymore, which I don't understand, but whatever. <laughs> Oh yeah, I hope no one here is allergic to rock and roll, because it's one really rock. pretty serious stroke and I was dead for over three minutes and what I experienced there is kind of indescribable but um, luckily I have my voice recorder going so I do have audio of what I went through that night. Do you guys want to hear it?
Thank you to Tim and James and Brian. Thanks so much, everybody.